Hi friends. It's Labor Day and I wanted to show you how well my tomato plants are doing. And you can see there's lots of tomatoes. And there's just tomatoes everywhere. And you can see right here. They're just everywhere. These are cherry tomatoes. The sun gold. I would definitely suggest growing them. They really like it. And you can see up here. And you can see we're still flowering. Lots of tomatoes. So what I do is, is as the season goes, you know, you start getting dead leaves and limbs that start dying off. So you just cut them off so that way it can focus on producing and uh, giving me uh, lots more gummies. You can see here, got tomatoes growing on this all over the place. You can see over here, tomatoes in here, more tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. Tomatoes that I can harvest. They're getting ready to be harvested. But this right here, you can see it's not doing very good. So you just pop it off. That way it's not having to focus on if I have my scissors. But anyways, you take these off and then it allows them it allows it to focus more on producing and ripening. This one here, I'm still working on getting all the dead off from that heat wave, but you can see it's it's coming back. It's coming back. I got tomatoes in this, and then the serranos. You can see they're it's doing good. I just think it needed to just get where it needed to do better at. I don't know if you can see them or not. They blend into everything. More tomatoes. Now remember what I said. You said, go like this. And it helps. It helps produce those tomatoes. And then my cucumbers. I just got done pulling my carrots and my carrots turned out good. Those are my friends over there that's her stuff and you can see I took out the broccoli and the uh, cauliflower I'm fixing to plant some bok choy and some leafy greens and then uh, so that's that's what I'm planning on doing I went ahead and seven dusted my yard because she ended up with um, squash bugs and I just didn't want them in my in my garden so I ended up seven dusting this area pretty good, you know, because look what the squash bugs did to her plants. Just ate them alive. She's new at gardening, so she didn't know what to do, and of course it uh, it killed it off sadly. But you know, it, it's a lesson. And my berries didn't do very good because of the heat wave. These are just they just don't do good right here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replant some more and I'm going to plant them back there where they get a lot of shade because that seems to be what they like. My garden or my fountain that needs to be water put in it. Uh, it's got water but needs more. And then my berries 
this is the first year it produced really good berries and so my husband's been out here every day looking for berries to pop in his mouth which is fine you know these are my tomato plants I did harvest this morning uh, one tomato plant or one tomato off of this because it was ripe but you can see I got all kinds of these are Roma tomatoes I got all kinds growing on here and then of course you just sit there and move it around you emulate because you know, it you know the wind and stuff uh, and animals um, getting on it and whatever and that self pollinates we're gonna be moving the Meyer lemon tree over here so it can start getting ready to go in the house and then you can see back here it just doesn't get a lot of sun enough to to do a good uh, grass so I think I'm gonna put back here you know my my berries and whatever uh, I, th I just think they'll like it better my chestnut uh, tree is still you know, doing good so that's a plus I just hope it doesn't get that disease that they get we figured out this plant don't go by the instructions look stuff up on, on Google it'll you know so that way you know but um, this one here it said that it needed full Sun so I did and it was dying on me and I put it here in the shade and you can see what it's doing now it's loving life so definitely do your own research don't trust what something else is telling you you know do do your own research and I got this over here you can see the dead I took off the off of this that's all dead right there you know well let me show you that's all dead right there you know from what I took off but you just take these off and it allows the plant to focus on producing more than trying to fix itself and I'll come out here with scissors again and do a little more trimming I got carrots growing in here I don't know if you can see them or not let me see yep there they are I got carrots I got green beans let's get these acorns out of here I got green beans growing again in here more acorns more green beans you can see them right there right there's a green bean and then you got green beans right here Roma tomatoes you know and more more flowers I think this one's getting too much Sun so I know that next year I'll move it but you can see you just remove that off it's usually pretty simple some of them will give me a little bit of a hard time doggies got water they don't stay out here all day I don't let them even if, though it's a fenced in yard that's not that's not good for the doggies they can be out here we think mocha is allergic to dirt because whenever she lays in it she just starts itching and this is my Meyer lemon and you can see it's it's grown and it's happy I got a jumping spider in here been trying to catch it I had it on my hand and uh, it jumped off and caught itself on something down here there it is let me see if I can get it get a picture of my jumping spider it's got something it's eaten. It's eating that bug that was over there. I'm gonna have to get an enclosure and bring it in the house. Take care of it properly so that way it doesn't have to worry about anything. And yes, I have arachnophobia. But jumping spiders? I'm not scared of them. I think they're adorable. 
So, Meyer lemon, great indoor outdoor tree. It'll produce lemons. It has, uh, it's a, like a mix between a lemon and an orange. And so it's got like a sweet, savory taste. And uh, it didn't produce this year, but it said it, uh, either the second or third year it would start producing. I like the tree itself, even if it doesn't produce ever, but that's okay. I'm going to bring the baby in and, yeah, be happy. And I'm really happy. We, we have work income uh, once every three months. My husband is a very big stickler about uh, ants and, you know, just bugs in general. Uh, he does like spiders, but we get, we get a lot of recluses. So we got to spray for them too. And uh, I, I, I want to bring this little guy in the house and um, protect it so it doesn't get sprayed on and love it and call it George. <laughs> So that's my garden in the back. The front garden needs to be, uh, you know, harvested. I'll probably do that today, maybe, or tomorrow, and I'll do a video of that as well. But bucket gardening works really good for some things and not good for others. And then so the, the stuff that it doesn't do good on, just do back to Eden, and you'll be happy. Some things need a lot of shade, some things don't. I found that I was able to keep uh, the squash bugs off my squash by planting cucumber plants around my squash and it seems to work. It worked really well for me. I, I produced a lot of squash this year. Where last year I produced squash maybe one or two because uh, the squash bugs were so bad. And you can see what happened to my neighbor's squash plant. Uh, the bugs got in there tore it up and that's the way it is so with all that being said this is my garden it's probably going to be fall here pretty soon I can't remember I know that I'm enjoying this it's absolutely fun I'm going to be planting some uh, fall stuff so I'll be doing videos of that as well but my goal is is to teach people what works what doesn't work you know trial and error and remember your zone is different than my zone I could go 30 minutes away and the the soil composition everything is different so then I have to relearn everything so and the, uh, this has been a learning experience a fun one and I have completely enjoyed, even if I didn't produce anything my husband said it was the fact that I had fun doing it so okay friends if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you're not a subscriber and we got more interesting videos to come bye friends